Comrade Seidel calls this beer the Pope of all beers. So is he right? See me walking around. today from the Eyinger Brewery in Bavaria we have got a bottle of their Celebrator Doppelbock coming in at 6.7% ABV now a little bit about the Eyinger Brewery um, <laughs> they're not actually classed as one of the big six of Munich and the reason being is because they're not actually brewed within in the actual Munich itself, that they're brewed on the outskirts of Munich, but they've been uh, they've been brewing for over 130 years, um, and it's the Inselkammer family that, um, that that own the brewery, and they, they they brew a lot a lot of good beer, and if you ever go to Munich and go to the, the where the Hofbrau house is, don't go in the Hofbrau house, walk across the square and go in the Eyinger brew house which is opposite you have a far better experience in there than what you would do with a Hofbrau house it's all full of tourists and it's not not that good to be honest so if you're in Munich go and visit the Ionia place I thoroughly recommend it now a little bit about Doppelbox now a Doppelbox is basically an extra strong rich really weighty lager and it's gonna have a lot this should have a lot of maltness some sweetness some bitterness but very, very balanced um, it's gonna be a dark beer and they were first brewed by the monks of the Paulina Brow in Munich and uh, at the time they were, they were basically to be consumed instead of bread during Lent so you know, this is basically what they call a liquid bread um, so this is how this beer has come about and according to a lot of people like I say it's by Conrad, Conrad Siegel it's called the Pope of all beers lots of other beer applications, uh, beer reviewers um, that are worldwide renowned consider this to be the best Doppelbock on the market, the best Doppelbock in the world and people have even been quoted saying that this is one of the best beers in the world and it's on the top 10 of best beers in the world. So. I'm expecting a lot from this, it's the first time I've had it, um, I hope it lives up to the provenance which it's got, um, I'd like to know what this little charm is on the bottle, um, obviously it's one of the rams beside the glasses, but if any anyone from Germany who watches this channel, um, especially Stefan, if you know what this is, Please comment and let me know because I can't find out the significance of this on the front of the bottle. So let's crack this open and give it a try. It's a lovely, lovely rich dark colour. Just caught that right. Well, as you can see, look at that dark brown. I actually hold it up to the light. I can see some readiness there. It's got, look at that lovely sort of one and a half finger. So it's a real sort of malt coloured head on there. Plenty of carbonation. Let's get the aroma. Oh. Oh. You 
really getting a real molasses smell from this. Oh, the, the molasses smells just like when I open a bottle of molasses that I use, I make barbecue sauces with when I have barbecue. So um, I use quite a bit of molasses and it smells just like when I've opened that bottle of liquid molasses to tip in and mix up with stuff to make a barbecue sauce. It's just, there's a burnt toffee smell there. And it's got the malt aroma of Horlicks. I don't know if any of you can remember what Horlicks was. It's like a, um, a malt, powdered malt that you could mix up with milk and have it as a drink. And hot Horlicks people used to have. It's got that real Horlicks sort of malty twang to it it's the smell it smells really really nice it's really a balanced it's a lovely smell maybe a hint it's sort of chocolate there but get yeah, a beautiful smelling beer I, you know i can't knock it for that let's dive in and give it a try cheers This is so smooth. The aftertaste I'm getting now, really getting a lovely roasted malt aftertaste to this. On the palate, sticky toffee molasses. It's got a lot of stickiness to it. I feel it like it stuck to my teeth. So <laughs> I'll sip. Sweetness at the start, then goes bitter, but perfectly balanced. And at the back end, you're getting this lovely roasted malts. Absolutely beautiful. This is such a well balanced beer. The Germans certainly know how to perfect a beer. Um, they may not brew as many different styles as the Germans, as the Belgians, sorry. But the Germans, the beers they do brew, they get them right. They get them spot on. It's this is this beer, this is beer perfection. This is when you think this is a this is a lager, you know anyone looking at that. You know, it looks like a porter, it looks like a stout, it looks like a dark ale, right, which are all top fermented. Um, an alt beer, it looks like an alt beer, another one top fermented. But no, this is a lager, it's bottom fermented. It's, there's carbonation there, but it's so smooth, it's not gassy. Uh, I, it doesn't even feel like 6.7%. 6, 6 it's so smooth, so drinkable. The worrying thing, I could, have, I could quite easily have a session on this. The carbonation is so light as it just dances over your tongue. Pushing these flavours round your mouth. Pushing now the roasted malts at the back end. that just seem to linger and linger and linger making you want to have another sip to get that initial sweetness burst it's like a the, the, the first sip of this beer it's like bang a big sort of sugar rush and then the sweetness goes down and the bitterness now starts to kick up and the bitterness starts to now drop away and this roasted malt just sort of 
comes away like that and just lingers. So if you sort of had a graph, it would be sort of like this, up, down, that's your sugar, up, down, that's your bitterness, and then Fantastic how I've still got this this really pleasant roasted malt lingering in my mouth. It's similar to when I used to smoke like expensive Cuban cigars and some of them you've in higher you know took took the, took the took the took the smoke on them and exhaled the the smoke you'd have this sort of long lingering um, sometimes a sort of a, a licorice type smell um taste uh, a smoky type taste vanilla pods that sort of thing and that would last there in your mouth buzzing round until you took the next the next uh, toke on the cigar um, this beer is very much like this it's you could slowly sip this all evening and enjoy it but you could also get on a session with it and enjoy it. It is one of these beers. This is a beer, if you're serious about beer and you like your beer, this is a beer you have got to try before you die. You know, you might hear me say this quite a bit, you know, beers to try before you die. Well, this is one of them. This is a beer which you've got to literally Look, get on that internet, go out your way. To get, I got it from Beautiful Beers in Bury St Edmunds. Right, you can pick it up on the internet between sort of three, three and a half quid a bottle, um, which ain't a lot of money for the quality of this beer. When you're thinking, you've probably got a beer here. Um, well, that's not probably. This is this is one of, in my opinion, the top ten beers in the world. It's the best Doppelbock for. for I can see why they say it's the best Doppelbock and I can see why nothing else compares to this. Right. So, for three and a half quid, you are getting one hell of a fantastic beer. And one hell of a fantastic beer that you are going to like. You are not going to hate this beer. You know, even if you don't like dark beers, you're not going to hate this beer. If you... You know, if you don't like lagers, you're not gonna like. You're gonna like this beer. If you don't, if you if you into your ales and you don't like lagers, you're gonna like this beer. This is whatever beer styles you like. This beer is gonna appeal to you. It is just, just perfectly balanced. It's just, in my opinion, perfect all round. It's a great example of. German engineering, if you can use that term with beer, just absolutely fantastic. And I'd, I'll be quite, uh, quite friendly with a, a German uh, um, viewer who, who watches these videos and uh, been talking quite a bit on email and that. And uh, Stefan, let me know if you had this and let me know what you think of this beer because. Is blown my mind. It really has. Absolutely fantastic. Do yourselves a favour. Get hold of a bottle of this. Try it. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, hit that little bell. Get notified every time I bring out a review. If you like this review, give us a big thumbs up. And uh, not I keep saying. I keep getting inboxes about the glasses I use on the reviews. People want to know where they get them from. Uh, I, I keep sending them links on the inboxes and that sort of thing. And uh, sometimes the inbox would come through and I wouldn't see it because it went into the spam box and whatever. So what I've done now is below in the description 
There's all the links for all me, my Spiegel Owl, my TechQ glasses that I use in a lot of the, the videos. So if you want to get yourself some craft beer glasses to drink your craft beer from, just it's easy enough. Rather than inbox me, just click on them links, it takes you straight to Amazon, job done, and uh, there you go. And uh, but literally get hold of this beer, try it, see the thing, and as I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching, good night.